Well, we showed you earlier, Charles Barkley, how good the swing looked on the practice tee and you know, how bad it was once he got out on the golf course in the Pro-Am. Now let's put him side by side with Michelle Wee, another tall player. Yeah, both uh, very tall. Michelle, like 6'1". But you can see Charles here on, on the right, he's a little bent over, too much bent over, too straight on the bottom. His, his weight almost looks like it's on his toes. Now, Michelle, a much more athletic setup, straight back, bend at the knees. If you walked up bes behind Michelle, you would not be able to push her over. So a very athletic setup. Now, let's take Michelle to the top here. You can see just a great takeaway. Keeps the club nicely on plane. Hands right above her right shoulder. Let's take Charles to the top. Little too much arm rotation. Head moves back. You see this right foot right here. The weight way on the outside of the right foot. Too much, she's moved way too much off the ball. Now let's take Michelle down. She starts turning her hips and her belt buckle to the target, right into impact, beautifully done. And now take Charles down. <laughs> let's see what he does here. He starts to come down, you want, you want that grip pointing at the ball, but you don't want to stop, you don't want to stop. Oh, well off balance, everything. <laughs> now let's take them through. De definitely a mental issue with Charles. Poor Charles. Now I'm sure he's heard a million different ways that people can fix his swing. And obviously if Hank Haney can't fix it, it probably can't be fixed. But if you were going to give him any advice, what would it be? Well, I would tell him to to change something completely. I mean, I went through the putting, putting yips a lot of times in my career, like three times in my career. You have to change the history. So that's why you see people when they have putting problems, they, you know, they change, they do a um, left hand low, they look at the hole, they go to a belly putter, they go to a long putter. You try anything to change the history because it gets in your head. And that's what's happened to Charles with his golf swing right now. And, and by Putting himself on these shows and on TV, it just it it just enhances this mental problem that he has that he feels like he has to perform well. What can so, he change? I mean, what, how can you change the history? Well, I tell you what, my advice to Charles Barkley would be to try to play left-handed. This guy is one of the best athletes we have ever seen. I have no doubt that he could probably try and play left-handed. That would be something that would just change it completely. He wouldn't have a bad history. Um, he could go out and he could probably enjoy it. But he has to do something to change. He can't go with the same old thing because it hasn't worked and his mind won't let him do it. Now, that might be some advice he hasn't <laughs> heard yet.